Hi there YouTubers. In this video I'm going to show you a selection of LPs that I've picked up between the letters J and L. And uh, a bit of variety here too. Jackson Hawk, they're a Canadian band from the 1970s that had a couple of albums and this one's likely the first album just called Jackson Hawk. I don't recall what the hit single was. But they were quite popular for a while. Most people know this, The Jam, Setting Suns. Paul Weller and The Jam were one of the great bands of the uh, late 70s and early 80s. Jean-Michel Jarre, Oxygen. And this is a British copy of this album. It's funny, I had the CD on this, but I didn't have the, the vinyl until recently. Jefferson Airplane, Flight Log, which is a compilation, double album, compilation album. RCA. Tracks from all their albums from the 60s and early 70s. Another Jefferson Starship album this time though. Uh, Paul Kantner, uh, Blows Against the Empire. This also is a British copy. There's a booklet in here. Oh, How'd this get in here? This is Bob Seeger, <laughs> Stranger in Town. interesting cover. And this is an interesting album. It uh, was never released, as far as I know, in North America. Uh, in Swing Stereo, The Jet Set, There Goes the Neighborhood, and this is British too. And apparently there are a bunch of musicians that got together and tried to do a monkeys type thing in the 1980s in Britain. And uh, they marketed themselves just like a new monkeys, apparently. The Jet Set theme, which is, I guess, something like the Monkees theme. And the only person's name who I really recognize on this is, I think it was Paul uh, Bivoir. And uh, I'd never heard of this until I looked it up, and apparently it just wasn't a, a, that successful a remarket of the Monkees type thing. So, Elton John, Ice on Fire, it's, uh, 1985. Howard Jones. Humans Lib. It's from the 80s, 84. KGB Motion. Now I have the first KGB album. It has Mike Bloomfield playing guitar on it. And uh, this is the second album, I suppose. And I don't even think that Mike Bloomfield's on this, even though the B in KGB was apparently for Bloomfield. But um, I, the drummer was, I think, Vinnie a piece. I think Carmen a piece's brother. King Harvest. King Harvest did have a big hit single. Uh, was it Dancing in the Moon Moonlight? And this is perhaps their second album. Leah Kunkel. Now, Leah Kunkel, she, she had a really, really famous sister. Um, extremely famous sister. Her sister was Cass Elliot, like Mama Cass. Maybe she looks like a thinner version of Mama Cass. An ECM album, an early ECM album. It's um, Art Land and Young Garbarek. It's Red Lanta. It's jazz. Art Land's on piano. Robin Lane and the Chart Busters. This is a new wave album. It's called Imitation Life. It's quite good. Everyone knows this one, Led Zeppelin Presence. It's a hypnosis cover. And recently, uh, Glass Orchid, Orchid Aftermath um, did, a, did a presentation where he, he was speaking about Mylon Lefebvre. I believe it was maybe Mylon Lefebvre's um, first album from the maybe late 60s, 1969 or 70. And this is a, uh, an album that Mylon released in 1973. And what's kind of interesting about this is the fact that it's produced by Felix Papillardi, you know, who have produced uh, creamed Israeli gears, for example, and uh, he was a member of Mountain. And uh, Felix, I know Felix, Felix wrote a couple songs on here as well. I don't know this band, uh, Legs Diamond, Firepower. 
looks kind of like a hair metal band or something from the 80s. Well, it's actually 1978 because it's on GRT and GRT went out of business in 1979. So, but it sure looks like a hair metal band. This is a band called Let's Active, and they're kind of power pop, early 80s. It's on the IRS label. Band called Lucifer's Friend. I'm just a, sing a rock and roll singer. I know very little about this group. European, I think. Jimmy Lunsford, Lunsford Special. This is a Columbia album from the 1950s. It's going to be a big band record. Lunsford and his orchestra, so the music will be from the late 30s or the 1940s, and I think the cover on this album is fantastic. And the last album in this series is uh, Lydia Lunch, Queen of Siam. And this album is fairly hard to find. It's kind of a punk new wave type album. And I have listened to it, and uh, it's, I don't think it's going to make my cut list because it's a little bit too punky for my taste. And her voice, Lydia Lunch's voice, was uh, not the best. Thanks for watching, everyone.